All right, all right, all right. It is time for game three of this week's I cast your freaking awesome replays. It is, of course, the social distancing challenge where players were not allowed to expand adjacent. You needed to have at least a one expansion gap between each of your bases. Down here in the bottom left hand side, let's see if we hear some of that patented theme music. It's Benny Hill. Up here in the top right hand side, representing the Psystorm community team. All right? It is Mini Moog! Woo! Oh, little tornado there. And it looks like Mini Moog's the one playing it. Oh, very nice. Mini Moog's going down to take this base. Wait, no, he's changed his mind. He says, fuck that. He's like, why not just go even further out, you know? go to the other side of the map why not let's do it okay so he's gonna go spawning pool first and is he gonna go take a hatch on the other side of the map bit of an aggressive proxy hatch gonna come in very nice now benny hill here going for a very standard barracks gas opening and uh is going for an scv scout as well ah. mini mook still doesn't have that expansion down okay i guess this is pretty standard timing Building plenty of drones here. No gas or anything like that. But now, I wonder, do we try to mine off this? Do we just spread creep from here? I used to be a big connoisseur of what I would call the distraction hatchery. Where I'd do a normal hatch first, but I'd also just plonk a hatchery down like here. Get a queen out and just start spreading creep from it. And it would all be about the opponent kind of scouts the proxy hatch, freaks the heck out, and starts trying to build bunkers and stuff. And you never really plan to do anything of it. You just want to try and get as many tumors down and start spreading them backwards and like spread to the left, spread one to the right, spread one to the north, one to the right. And basically you just spread creep in every direction from there. And it just freaks them out because they assume, well, you wouldn't just build a hatchery outside my base just to spread creep. Clearly you're setting up for some sort of big all in attack. You're using this as a staging point for it. And you're like, no, no, I'm just macroing at home. And then they like finally come out and they burn like 17 scans trying to clear up this creep that's spread everywhere outside their base. And it can uh, can be a bit of a disaster. But Benny Hill here with a quick early scout is going to find that expansion and has already gone command center on the high ground, has built a Reaper, which is scouting around the top left of the map. I guess he'd, he'd given that command before finding that hatchery. Has a Marine here. He's going to try to get a bunker on the low ground, but... Those Zerglings are already here. The Reaper's not at home. He turns around. He's like, oh, we gotta get home to secure that bunker. I don't think he gets it up in time. <gasps> oh, the Marines in the open. Run! Run! <laughs> that was like watching a guy in the middle of a gunfight walk up to the Quartermaster and just like get in line. He's like, sir, could I please have some Kevlar? <laughs> and he's like, we don't have it ready. We're still fabricating it. Uh new order will be in in a few hours and he's like i'll just stand here till it comes it's like we're in the middle of a gunfight dude maybe no oh shit there's already a roach here oh my god one roach says hello i'm just uh checking your permit uh just making sure that you're not uh, spreading any diseases here and they're like um what sort of check is that i'm pretty sure you're just vomiting on my workers dude he's like no 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 it's the new oral test uh it does feel like i'm vomiting onto your face but no no it, it'll uh it, it'll change color it'll turn pink if you're positive positive. and they're like uh i don't know dude i'm pretty sure that's just uh weaponized acid vom no 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 this is a it's a government test it's good we're definitely not putting a tracking implant inside your body while doing it so that we can control you uh also bill gates most certainly did not fund this uh this zerg strategy in order to gain world dominance as part of his cult uh, before he goes and sacrifices a virgin lamb on a hilltop to the aliens that he worships. Anyways, maybe funded by Bill Gates, maybe not. We'll have to see as the game goes on up here in the top right. We see he's going lair, getting a second gas, starting to drone up this base and taking another base over there. Good contain to start things off though. I think if you're going to try and maintain your social distancing you got to make sure your opponents are contained on one base, staying safely in their home, staying on lockdown, or, or they're expanding way spread out on the map like you. Now, unfortunately, Benny Hill has had enough of lockdown and says, get the shit out of me, property. This is my home. You need to leave. Does take out two of the roaches. <clears throat> and with that, may be able to expand. That's hard to keep your opponents on lockdown, man. The problem, especially with Terrans, is they're all like, nah, my freedom. And you're like, well, yes, but like, 
all I'm saying is just submit yourself to let a roach vomit down your throat. Don't expand and mine your minerals. And just, why, why are you so uppity about it? Oh, infringing on my rights. No, it's fine. It's okay. Just take a deep breath, Benny Hill. Don't, what? Mate, you can't come down here. This is naughty. Bad. Okay, Benny Hill is breaking all conditions. Is saying, no, nah, you can't infringe. I'm reopening the mineral factory. I don't give a shit. Oh, no. Well, that's going to get Mini Moog up in a bit of a frenzy, I think. Mini Moog drops the spire. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to use alien aliens uh, flying around, trying to uh, trying to do some damage to uh, punish Benny Hill for this one. We're already up to four gases up here, actually, and this one's fully mining on minerals. This is not a bad economy. Oh, Mini Moog. Mini Moog. How did they even spot that? What the hell? That was a weird one. Mineral I think it just needed depleted. to stand there and it could have been fine. Because I don't think the units can actually spot the top of the high ground. I think it was just on the, the dangerous part of the pillar. So that overlord was clearly an inexperienced pervert. He must have just been handed his trench coat and dark sunglasses by the guild of overlords. Didn't have a lot of experience with knowing exactly how to make himself invisible in the bushes. Didn't understand that once you expose yourself, you lift your trench coat up with nothing underneath and show people your uh, your overlord tentacles that you've got to get the hell out of there pretty quickly. I think he just got a bit excited. There's something about the rush of lifting up that trench coat and going, look at me tentacles. Uh, and the Terrans are like, dude, that's fucking creepy. And they just shot him down. Uh, I'm I'm with Benny Hill on that one, guys. I know I know Benny Hill may be a bit, uh, you know, a bit annoying, a bit precocious, obsessed with freedom. Oh, I need to have my natural. It's me own property. I can do what I want and shit. But in that case, I mean, when the when the government officer is lifting up his trench coat, you know, he's perving on you from the bushes, spying on you. There is a point where invasions of privacy do get too much. Let's be real. Let's be real on that one. Queens and slow zerglings going to try and defend this. These marines have stim. Dude, they could actually... <laughs> these zerglings! Oh my god, it's like a handful of muters, queens, and slow zerglings. Oh my god, mini moog. Oh, Mini Moog. Okay, a few muters died. Does finally defend it. Turns out slow Zerglings can beat Marines if the Marines are shooting the muters, I guess. 13 more drones. And he's taking the bases on the side. Okay, Mini Moog has literally taken every base that he can while maintaining social distancing on this map. Benny Hill said, you know what? <clears throat> I just moved out and lost all my Marines. Let's do it again. <clears throat> All right, all right. Uh, Benny Hill is like, dude, you can't... Dude, this is my front yard. You can't just put a tent here, dude. Mini Moog's like, no, it's a it's a COVID testing tent. And he's like, dude, you're, you're seriously just trying to live on my lawn. This is, this is fucked up. You can't do that. Oh, Good Widow Mine takes out the Zerglings. The tank is actually quite tanky against such a small handful of muters. They do take it out, but not before a few of them go down. Um, this is not the area. Uh, is this really the hill you want to die on, Mini Moog? Mini Moog says yes. He moves his spine crawler to the high ground. He's like, literally, he's like, I have the high ground. I will defend. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea, dude. I feel like the Terran could just rally directly into you. But Benny Hill does seem a little nervous. Let's be real. Okay, his Widow Mines are borrowing. No, that's a problem. Mini Moog, you gotta watch out, dude. Okay, he's, he's gonna try and fight on this hill. He's gonna try and defend it. I feel like, yeah, yeah, a good choice. He does say, you know what? We'll just go, we'll go do some testing elsewhere. It's okay. No worries. The queen is going to go down, as will the overlord. <clears throat> Benny Hill's got a fearsome army. It's a lot of plus one marines, mines, a, a couple medevacs are out. One one's just started. And Zerg, Baneling Speed just finished 33 Banelings, but there's nothing. Oh my, it's pure Baneling. There's four muters, five Zerglings, and 33 Banelings. Holy shit, this is like this is like some Command and Conquer shit. They're like, yep, in the future, we're gonna fight conventional warfare is gonna involve four like an army, a standard battalion is 400 dudes with rocket launchers and one dude who just throws grenades. And you're like, really? They're like, yeah, it's a good way to fight. And you're like, I don't think that's a good way to fight. That sounds really fucking stupid. <laughs> no, no, no. 400 guys with rocket launchers, one who throws grenades. You're like, that's Well, okay. All right, if your opponents stand in parade formation, apparently it works. Shame on me for doubting the power of just having explosive. No, 
don't need any rifles there no you don't need no 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 machine guns no rifle not just 400 dudes with rpgs i mean let's be real that is basically our zerg play like you think about like you know it's like taliban and shit they're like what we're gonna do in every combat situation is we're gonna spam like 500 rpg rounds and just hope something sticks and you're like that seems like a pretty ridiculous inefficient way to fight but okay zerg's like yeah that's that's kind of how we do it and you're like oh jesus christ really zerg players like nah we're highly intelligent we're the smartest we're the reactive race we have to sometimes take our bailings and then we smoosh them into our opponent's face. Let's be real. There is a great bank for Mini Moog who has a great economy, but the tail end of that fight was absolutely horrendous. The way just having a bunch of dudes with RPGs or rocket launchers should look. <laughs> Terran, on the other hand, is like, yeah, dudes with literal fucking rifles, drugs as well. Everyone knows drugs are a, a good part of an organized and effective military fighting force. You've got to give your soldiers the stimos. Marines go, Marines go, stimo for their demos. I don't even know what I'm saying. The Marines are spreading versus no splash damage. <laughs> they didn't stim either. Oh no! Oh my god! Mini Moog just engaged before, like literally morphed. 90% of the Zerg army into Banelings and then engaged. And even though there was no splash damage, Benny Hill was like, there must be a mass of Banelings coming in behind this. <laughs> so without stimming, we just saw like 30 unstimmed Marines trying to spread slowly walking while Zerglings, Muters and Roaches were hitting them. <laughs> but there were still so few Zerglings and Muters and Roaches that they got killed by the Marines anyway. Then the Banelings came in. They cleared out the army. But holy shit, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It was it was like watching dudes under artillery and machine gun fire stand up out of the trenches and just walk slowly over to a different trench and then climb back inside. Like it was this, you're you're in the there's dudes clawing at you. They're like, we need to spread out. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> there was no splash damage. <laughs> I was like, um, oh man, maybe, maybe these, these are the Marines from the Aliens movie. You know, whenever you get anyone who's in a military who, who, who watches the Aliens film, they're like, this film is so fucking stupid. No soldier would ever be this disorganized. I'm like, guys, they're meant to be literally the most dodgy corporate mercenaries ever who aren't so much about being efficient fighters. They're literally just the most unscrupulous fucking jarheads you could possibly get. Like, they're, they're not even, even jarhead is too good of a term because that kind of makes you think they're actual, actual, like, you know, what you'd expect of a modern marine, right? No, so these are literally dudes who just are like, yeah, I know how to use my gun. And they're like, what's your background? They're like, oh, I work bar security and I, like, punched a few people's heads in when they started shit with me. And you're like, oh, okay. This is the, the military of, of a bunch of ex-bouncers and nightclub security given high-powered weaponry. And this is kind of how they fight the aliens. They basically run off screaming at the point of contact in different directions, spraying in random directions and, uh, and having a bit of an orgy. Now, thankfully, Mini Moog is once again going in Zerglings first, Banelings far behind. Oh my, okay. That's a lot of Widow Mines and that's a lot of Banelings. I think the next fight is going to potentially decide this game. The Zerg economy has been absolutely blitzed right now. Mini Moog is like, dude, this social distancing thing, I got to keep him down. Now the Banelings could kill everything or the why? Oh no, 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 no. All the Widow Mines could kill. Oh, every Widow Mine in a clump goes down as well. Oh God. I was like, the next fight is going to be all the mines are going to kill the whole Zerg army. <laughs> all the Baylings were going to kill the whole Terran. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. I thought it was one or the other. It was both. We just got the, like, the double dip. We just got the double prize winner. We got the entire Terran army died to the Banelings, and then the entire Zerg army died to the mines. Ah. Uh, oh, so amazing. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, who's ahead at the end of that? I don't know. It's still pretty close. 1-1 one, one upgrades, but oh, I think the Terran needs to go home. Oh, Jesus. What did they drop? Mushrooms before walking into battle? They're like, look at the pretty, 
Look at the pretty light balls. They're walking forwards trying to play touch the bane lane. They're stroking it. They're like, it's it's basically a glowing doggo, right? This is why you don't take shrooms before combat. Ooh, Ooh the command center does lift, but there's corruptors there. Uh-oh, I don't think there's enough marines to hang on. There is a base up to the left. It's trying to morph into an orbital, but losing this planetary is a huge hit. Oh, now, mini moves economy is kind of weak. And I don't know. Was there a chance? Because if you think about it, that's out. That one. Oh, that's still healthy, as is that. Yeah, I think Zerg. I think Zerg had this one. Corruptors in the sky. What a game, though. Mini Moog that. Taking the third, getting a little roach contain on, doing a bit of a, a, a forced lockdown. But the freedom fighting Terrans, four out of the tyrannical Zerg lockdown. They got out on the map. But in the end. Uh, turned out a, too, a few too many combat drugs with hallucinogenic side effects. I think they actually honestly just got to the point and it, it, no fear can be a good thing. Sometimes like, you know, maybe not no fear, but um, I think dampening your fear, right? But I think running up to the, the, the glowing doggy, doggo, the, the, the baneling the, the, and, and trying to pat it, not the best not the best there was a few moments that can we go back and watch we got to go back and watch that big one actually that was just such a hilarious engagement right um was it this one i think it was it was the next one next one yeah <laughs> yeah yeah this is it this is it so 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 they go to the right lovely lo okay so sorry lovely lovely rotation from mini moo gear guys check this out and I was like, dude, if those Widow Mines are like spread out and the Marines just stim backwards, I think that'll be fine. But here we go. Let's let's slow it right down. <laughs> they got up to this point. Those two guys, I think, petted the Banelings. And then suddenly it kicked in for the rest of them what was going on. But still in a little bit of a stupor, I think turning and, and shooting may not have been the best thing. Uh, this is kind of like realizing you stepped on a landmine and then shooting the landmine. <laughs> to solve to solve the situation Ooh. and what was so great is the, the widow mines all burrow and they all die as well and it, i was like oh you're kidding me but then check out this widow mine he's just fresh off the production line and look at that shot 22 zergling kills nine zergling kills 14 zergling kills <laughs> ah. oh glorious Thank you very much, Mini Moog and Benny Hill, for that glorious display of StarCraft. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to get your replays in for next week's Show Off Challenge. You've only got a few days to get it in since we've cast, we've been away on vacation. We've cast these games kind of late. Big thanks to Maxan and Vivek. We really appreciate it, guys. Do check out the Patreon. Links down below. Early access to the Florencio files. You get to join me on the monthly Bacon Arcade night where we play some fun games such as the torturous Ice Baneling Escape. So if you want to share group torture with me, we can do a bit of bonding while in the prison of Ice Baneling Escape. Join in for that one as well. Check out the Patreon. Tears are below. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and good night.